TunnelBear is the simple privacy app that makes it easy to browse securely and enjoy a more open internet. Try TunnelBear for free at tunnelbear.com slash techsource. What's up guys, it's Zach from TechSource and today we're going to be taking a look at something very, very unique. This is the 43UD79B, which is a 4K LG monitor that's 43 inches. Now this isn't your regular 43 inch monitor. In fact, I'm not gonna even look at this as a huge monitor. Instead, I'm gonna look at it as a small TV. I mean, come on, this thing even comes with a remote. So you might be asking yourself a few questions like, what makes it any different from any other 43 inch TV out there? Well, firstly, the price. As you can find 43 inch 4K TVs for half the retail price of this thing, which by the way is $700. But in its defense, it does come with some built-in features and hardware that make it more convenient than just using a flat out TV for a monitor, which probably why it costs more. I do wanna take this time to thank TunnelBear for sponsoring this video. Protect yourself this upcoming holiday season. With millions of online shoppers during the holidays, the chances of ID theft and online fraud are going to be high. This is one of the reasons why people use TunnelBear. It's an easy to use VPN that encrypts your internet traffic on up to five devices. Even if you connect to an unsecured network, TunnelBear will keep your connection private. You can try it for free when you visit tunnelbear.com slash techsource or click on the link below. All right, so who exactly needs or even wants something this big as a computer monitor? Well, it turns out a lot of people. There's actually a growing demand for these large monitors and a lot of companies are coming out with their own variants, but they all seem to be marketed towards the professionals and the people who use their systems for productivity. When this first arrived at our office, we immediately threw it off as another fad, a product not really meant to sell, but just to have in the company catalog. But as time went by and the more we actually used it, the more we found its size beneficial. Okay, so the idea here is productivity, right? I mean, with its factory calibrated panel and the large real estate, this is actually the monitor for content creators, stock traders, or even professionals out there that use multiple programs at once that can actually benefit from it. And it really does work great for that. In Premiere Pro, my editor's workflow improved just by having everything uncompressed. He found it a lot easier to find tabs, scrub through the timeline, or just spot imperfections in scenes that normally he wouldn't catch. In fact, my editor has become so accustomed to the size while testing the monitor that he's already switched from his ultrawide. Adding to all of these, we got some convenient ports in the back. We got two USB 3s as well as a single USB-C port. Uh, this is going to be great for charging laptops or daisy chaining two other monitors. Also back here we'll find a display port and also four HDMI ports, two of which will run at 60 hertz and the other two that run at 30. But why four? Well, I'll just give you four because you can actually connect up to four sources at once through their software. You can plug in your PlayStation, computer, laptop, or whatever else has an HDMI port with a display. And you essentially have four 21.5 inch displays. That's pretty crazy. The build quality is top notch. Uh, there are bezels, but they're fairly thin and the stand is very robust, but unfortunately it only gives us about five degrees for tilt around the center. We do recommend having a bigger desk with this monitor, however, preferably deeper so that you can place it further away from you, otherwise it's going to be right in your face. My editor actually had to install a keyboard tray to accommodate for the larger size. The panel itself is good. The uniformity across the display is great with no dead pixels or signs of artifacting. It's also coated matte, which I prefer over a glossy surface. It doesn't have too much backlight bleed, in fact you won't even notice it unless you're in extremely dark environments. The colors are great and I found it accurate enough to use for video production, but it's also great for consuming media as well. Especially when you're using the two 10 watt speakers. You won't be able to hear how good they are through this video, but you're going to have to trust me when I say that they're exceptional coming from a monitor. The sound profile is balanced with very clear highs and a strong bass, but it's not too overpowering. I'm not leaving you. Obviously, it's not a hardcore gaming monitor because it's capped at 60 hertz refresh rate and a five millisecond response time. But for the casual gamer, it will get the job done just fine. Actually, it's like the IMAX of gaming. It provides a very immersive experience in games that revolve around the exploration of environments. 
For example, playing Dark Souls was great, but it wasn't so great when I loaded up Overwatch. The larger display didn't give me any added benefit. If anything, it actually took away from the experience as I had to look around the massive display just to spot enemies. And because of that extra screen real estate, the responsiveness you get when shooting enemies is greatly delayed. Honestly, the only types of games I would play on here are exploration type adventure games like Uncharted or even sports games like racing and basketball. There are some downsides, however. It doesn't support HDR for one, which we would like to see in future models. And secondly, if you're sitting close to the monitor, roughly around two feet, you'll see the screen cast a shadow on the edges. However, if you sit further back, about four feet, I would say, then it won't be a problem. There isn't anything LG could do about it except making it curved, but I feel like that would put this monitor in a completely different price bracket. The sheer footprint of this monitor probably scares most people from buying it. But in truth, this screen actually works great for anyone who enjoys playing casual games, especially if you're a console user. It's compatible with Xbox One X and 4K as well as PS4 Pro. It's also great for content creators and professionals out there, even people who have eye problems, since you don't have to focus in so much and can sit back and scale everything up in size. It might even be a nice upgrade to people who still use dual monitor setups. You can just get rid of those two, put one of these bad boys in front of you, and eliminate that nasty bezel in between. Personally, for me, I'm not going to be using this monitor because it just doesn't meet the needs that I'm looking for. I still love the 21 by 9 aspect ratio and having G-Sync support is also a nice plus. But with that said, let me know if this is something that you guys would use in your own personal setup by leaving your feedback in the comment section below. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to toss a like. If you guys didn't, feel free to dislike as well. That's cool too. I'll drop a link to the monitor below if you guys want to check it out. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.